say something over there. That's what it was. Questions? Todd, you said after Saturday's game that um, that might have been the worst defensive second half that you played. When you went back over the film, just what were the breakdowns there? I was, I was probably exaggerating. Uh, you know, I was just, um, you know, obviously when you go back and watch the film, it's different. Um, you know, um, it, it just very, very, you know, it, you know what I tell the players, we're, we're very, very close. I mean, uh, we, we marched the uh, ball down the field, you know, first two series and score. I think, uh, obviously, uh, the, uh, you know, not, not we could have gone up 21. Obviously, there's, uh, you know, a lot of things there early. But we really, uh, defensively, while we're talking about defense, uh, they didn't complete any of their major route concepts. I mean, throughout the whole game. Uh, we did a really good job of covering. I thought we got to the quarterback. Uh, we didn't blitz as much, but we still impacted them. Uh, we just had seven critical eras where, and I mean simple stuff, where we basically left people uncovered on slant. I mean, so uh, I was just frustrated probably after the game, and, uh, and I want to make sure I'm very clear about um, the, you know, I, I'm not, uh, the season's not over. I said this has been a disappointing season to this point, which was left out. Um, um, and it has been. And, uh, but, you know, the difference between being seven and two and being four and five is about that much. And, um, but no, we did not, we, we got to coach better. We got to play better. We got to, you know, can't have the – but it was amazing that, you know, throughout the game as I watched the film, you know, 85% of the snaps were pretty – I mean, we covered probably, Doug, better than we've covered. I thought Jordan Simone played the best game of the year. Um, we just – they just go simple zoom motion and we end up – with two guys on the same guy, and they throw a slant for him. That, that was that was kind of all night. That or in the second half, that's what hurt us down the stretch. So it was uh, an errors we shouldn't be making, and so that has to do with all of us. And that's what we talked about: all of us being accountable, and we got to do a better job uh, in, in every area. And and uh, but the difference the difference has been, you know, we've uh, we've been ahead in every one of these games, the last three games, and uh, uh, in the fourth quarter and. And, and that's not, you know, we've always been a team that has finished and not um, uh, lost leads and things like that. And uh, even just the – just our guys are playing hard for us. It's not like that they're uh, – you know, we, we fake a punt on fourth and 12 and set up and take the, the lead back. I mean, uh, uh, you know, it just um, – we're making in the critical times – we're making critical mistakes uh, that, are, that are the difference in the games and then not having much uh, – Good fortune, either. Hey, coach. I don't know if I answered your question, but that, but, but def no, it wasn't the. I, I think uh, you know, I, you know, obviously, I was a little bit emotional, probably on that deal. Coach, I was wondering if you had any thoughts on the situation that's going on down in Missouri right now. Uh, you know, Mark said something to me a little bit about that. I, I, I don't have much knowledge of it, and uh, you know, so I wouldn't have any comment on it. Coach, I just want to get your thoughts on how frustrating is it when you show flashes of being a really good football team and, and unfortunately you just can't seem to put it all together? Yeah. Uh, it's, the, the, it's just the difference is, um, you know, we do. I know we have a really good football team. We just, um, you know, we just have not uh, put it together and had the rhythm that we need to have. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's the difference. I mean, we're, we're losing games, you know, uh, in the fourth quarter, and that's not something we've done. Um, losing close games. And, um, um, you know, again, the, still the common denominator is, is turnovers. Uh, that's been the deal uh, all year long, and uh, uh, we've got to eliminate those. And, um, but, um, you know, that um, – it is. It's frustrating. I was. I, 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 I am not gonna lie to you. I've been frustrated, but um, you, you can't sit around and uh, you know uh, when you when you face something like that. That's what our, we talk about as a team. It's it's me, myself, and I. 
that's that's what you focus on and we just got to do a better job you got to do a better job coaching better job playing better job preparing uh and um because it's just a we're we're it's 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 this far away and uh you know last year uh we won those games and this year we haven't and and you know it, it doesn't matter why you gotta you gotta flip that and turn that and we got a we got a challenge this week you know probably the best defensive football team we've we faced probably since utah and um we got to go get this thing uh you know back on track regarding the critical errors todd are you having more at this time of year than you've had in previous years yeah oh yeah we uh we uh we've had um we've had more this year than than we've had and um uh, and what I mean by critical errors, what I mean is that a critical error is when we blow an assignment and leave somebody completely uncovered. And that has happened, you know, and that's coaching. That's also, you know, preparation and accountability by the players. And there's, there's a whole side of that. And, and some of that, Doug, you, you know, you have to, you know, one of the things you got to look at, maybe, maybe the complexities of what we're doing. You know, you have, everything you do, you look and evaluate that. And obviously, we'll, we'll, we ongoing evaluation of those things. But, uh, yes, it's been uh, – uh, you, you look at that game, uh, you know, they had 156 yards of offense in the first half. Um, you go back and look, you know, did they give – you know, a team that is capable of throwing the ball vertically down the field. It wasn't vertical down the field. We just gave up slants and then just miss, just don't tackle the guy. Uh, and uh, and then and then you know just on simple emotions, just let let people uncovered uh, on things that nothing we practiced it. We just uh, in critical situations we're making those errors and 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 we're not we're not getting any. You know sometimes you'll have critical errors. You'll leave a guy uncovered and you'll they won't throw it to him or they don't find him or whatever. And we are not having any of that. When when our, when we make a mistake, they're right on it. And um, you know I mean so it it was not like. Um, it's frustrating because I thought we defended their offense very well and gave up stuff that you shouldn't give up. And, and just, you know, it was really slant routes. And then, you know, they were running a mesh route. We got the guy, we cut him, which means we should stay on him. And we just, we look, see, look back and take off or away from our assignment, just abandon our assignments and stuff. And obviously the quarterback was scrambling around and, and was able to buy time. You got to give them credit. They did a good job of being able to find the open guy and, and, and hurting us. That was a, there was one there where that was probably a 51 yard gain uh, that should have been, you know, but should have, would have, could have, don't count. And so, yes, we're having, we're having way too many of those. We, we simplified things in that game. Um, you know, they, they ran basically three formations. Two backs in the backfield spread, one back in the backfield doubles, and one back in the backfield trip sacks. They're in zoom motion, fly motion. It's about as simple as you can get. And um, uh, so for whatever reason, it just really is simple. We, we, our guys are playing hard. I, I can't falter how hard we're playing. They're playing to the end of the whistle, to the end of the game. Uh, we're playing really well. Uh, uh, again, in a very competitive league. I mean, it's going to be competitive. I mean, you you watch the first uh, part of that game. I think, man, we're fixing to go up twenty-one nothing. We're, I mean, and then it just there's there's not execute, not not you know doing what we're supposed to do um, in very very critical times, and that and that results in losing close games. And that's that's kind of what's what's happened. And uh, uh, you know, we, every person's just got to take accountability for that. We got to coach better. We got to play better. We got to. Uh, prepare better, and um, you know that, that's we we got to win the close games. That's that's I, you know every year I say that, and this is the first year we've not won those close games, and uh, so you got to put that behind you and let's go win a close game. Coach, I know you can't talk specifically, but today was a good day for you in the program. Are you able in the middle of the season to kind of zoom out, even in the midst of a of a losing streak, on how things are going and, and progressing forward? Well, I mean, we're building a program. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, our program goals and what the expectation – we didn't meet the expectations this season, and it's not over yet. We still got work to do as a program. 
Uh, but our program is, is, is we've, we've established some values and established a reputation of how we do things and, you know, just what we're doing as far as the graduating our players and, and what, what we have to offer uh, as a program, uh, um, you know, as a university. And uh, uh, so, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, we, it's, it's, it's everything. It's, how, it's everything we're doing. We, we, we constantly are, are focusing on, on winning and everything that we're doing, whether it be, uh, um, you know, on the field or off the field or recruiting or whatever it might be. So, so uh, I feel good about where we are as a program. I don't feel good about that we haven't met, met the expectations. And, and uh, but um, you know, you, w the season's not over. Uh, we we have a lot of work, a lot of critical work to do, uh, that's very very important to our program uh, in in in, uh, in finishing uh, this season off um, uh, in a way that. Uh, uh, it's been done here in the uh, recent past that, uh, uh, you know, that represents this program the way it needs to be represented. So, but I feel good about where we're at as a program. I think, uh, um, you know, um, a lot of our works are, are, we're starting to see the benefits of it, even though, you know, short term wise this year, it's been frustrating, you know, losing close games. And, you know, that's, 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 you know, you know, you know, you can't, you had, you had to put your big boy pants on and, you know, you, 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 you can't, uh, um, can't hide from the expectations and we're always going to have those expectations we have from the day, day one and we just have, have not won the close games and we've got to get those things corrected. But big picture, we're on, we, we, we've, got a, we've laid a foundation. It's, it's, not a, it's not on sand, it's on concrete. And so I think you know, we're seeing some of those benefits. Todd, can you talk about Taylor Kelly, having him on your staff, what you see in him in terms of a uh, potential uh, coaching career for him? Yeah, Taylor's, um, you know, one, a great human being, a tremendous person, a tremendous leader, uh, you know, um, uh, a guy that uh, probably underappreciated and undervalued um, as a player. I think he was a pretty special leader in how he activated the people around him. and. Uh, I think he'll he's learning under Coach Norvell and uh, doing a great job and uh, been an asset to us uh, and be a great coach. Uh, obviously, he's learning that's a whole it's a whole another whole another deal. And uh, uh, the biggest deal he's probably learning is is it's a, it's a little bit more time. <laughs> and you sit he he doesn't sit at the front of the plane anymore. He sits at the back. So he's got to he's got to work his way back to the front. But no, he's doing a good job. I'm really proud of him. Just to you know, I mean, he, you know, I, I'm looking for teachers. And uh, you know, and um, the way you teach is obviously you you want we want guys that care, and uh, when I think when I look at Taylor and as a young coach, man, I you can tell that guy cares about people. He cares about his players and care, obviously loves this program. So, you know, I'm, I'm I think he's going to be a great one. Coach, two part question. Uh, the first part: What has surprised you most about this season? And and secondly, how important is it to secure that fifth win for? The seniors to go to a bowl game. Well, well I think you have to have six, but uh, uh, I don't know. Y'all might know something I don't know, but uh, uh, no. It, it first of all, things surprised me that the most is that we've lost the close games. I'm just, I mean, I'm just not accustomed to it, and um, uh, you know, and it's kind of how we've done it. You know, uh, it's not been, um, you know, people just, you know, like, you know. You know, you lose a game like we lost against USC. Guys making plays. I mean, they they made big plays, and they were they were better than us that night. Um, you know, we've had you know a couple of games like that. The majority of the games, especially these last three, have been, you know, our I think uh, you got to give them credit, but it's been a lot of our our own doing, and not much good fortune. Um, and. Uh, you make your own good fortune by your work ethic, but these kids are working. That's what's kind of surprised me is how hard we've worked. Um, you know, because uh, I, I really don't say things I don't mean. Uh, I really thought that that we would be able to score more points than we've ever scored, and we haven't been able to do that. And it's been just the development and the in the areas that that we you know needed to develop. We just not you know we've not. Um, being able to gain our rhythm, I don't know if that makes sense. So that's what surprised me is losing the close games, and then uh, it's vital. You know, I'm I'm very grateful to to, to Mike Bercovici and to V and to DJ Foster and uh, you know uh, Mo and you know especially the guys that were here 
when I got here that sat in that first meeting and just how those guys bought into what we were a philosophy and a vision. And we're seeing those benefits. You know, we're seeing those benefits in our community. We're seeing our benefits and and what we're doing um, that they bought into because that's you know that we have an, a clear identity uh, as a football program of who we are, what we're about. You know, character, discipline, uh, the values. I mean, even as you know, this has been a year where in penalties I've been so upset. We're still number one in the fewest penalties. I mean, so I'm I'm very proud of that group of guys, especially these seniors, and and for our program and for them. Uh, we need to go, uh, you know, uh, finish this the right way, and, uh, and, and that's to win out and to go uh, uh, win a bowl championship. And uh, it's very, very important th that we do that for, for our program and for those seniors. Coach, um, offensively against Washington State, did you feel that you guys got away from the running game a little too early? You know, I mean, uh, yeah, heck, I, you know, we scored the first two drives and we were hitting quick passes and throwing the ball. And um, as we went back and evaluated, it was just in critical situations, making very, you know, you know critical mistakes. Uh, we, you know, driving the ball to score, uh, moving the ball right down, throw, hit a bang eight, fumble the ball. Uh, moving the ball down, I think, you know, uh, there, whenever we're 10 down, going in, probably going to score um, uh, and, and throw an interception. So it was just kind of self-destructing. And then not only that, just like some illegal procedure. We're moving the ball out the midfield, get legal procedure penalty. So now you got second 15 and you're moving it backward. And uh, But uh, no, I mean, you know, every time I call a blitz and it doesn't work, I wish I didn't call it. So, I mean, uh, but, you know, if you ask my, you know, my opinion on things, I mean, you know, we ran the ball very well, uh, and I thought our guys did a really good job in the run game. Um, but um, you know, um, you always you know second guess yourself when when you don't come out on top. But um, you know, uh, heck, I wish I'd have blitzed more on defense. But uh, you, you you never, anytime you lose a game, you're never satisfied with how you uh, the the you know how it, how it went or how it transpired. Uh, you know. Um, um, you know, you, you kind of live and learn there. And every time you win a game, you don't even think about it. You go to the next game. So that's kind of that's kind of the deal. But, um, you know, uh, it's not just one thing. We have to do a better job coaching, better job playing, better job executing in all three phases what we're doing. And what I'm telling you is that when I look at the fam, we're doing a lot of things really well. And... Uh, I mean, our, you know, I, I point out defensively, I mean, the vertical game plan, I mean, that, that I don't think we've played them in three years. We haven't given up a seam or a fade or, and, 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 and then to self-destruct on stuff like leaving slants uncovered and things like that that are things that are just really head scratchers that, uh, that are frustrating. But uh, it's just every, all of us have to do a better job. And, and it's not like we're doing – you know, I mean, our guys are playing hard. They're giving us everything they got. We're not playing just totally undisciplined. You know, I'm I'm mad as heck. We had three penalties. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I'm mad. I, I'm going. What are these penalties? And there was three penalties. I mean, so, uh, and, but there were three really really costly penalties. So, uh, you know, uh, deal is you just got to move forward and, and focus on what's in front of you. And um, you know, for these seniors and for this program, we need to go figure out a way to go beat a, a team that's really had a very similar season to us. A uh, very, very good football team, a team that's beat USC and uh, um, and has just been, has, has had the same type deal. They've lost very close games and sitting at four and five, both two really, there's two really good football teams gonna play um, on, on Saturday that, uh, uh, that that have not had, uh, uh, that have not had, you know, season have not gone the way they wanted it. Uh, Coach, <clears throat> excuse me, Coach. Uh, how important is it for you to uh, recruit guys in state, and have you put any more emphasis on that this season? Uh, you know, we we you know, when the time we walked in the door, we developed a plan for what we wanted to do. I firmly believe that uh, you know, you first have to sit down and say, hey, okay, Arizona State football, what's it all about? Well, it wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the people who buy the tickets. And, and come and support, and for the, especially the people who have been doing it for 30, 40, 50 years, and families, and, and so 
you know, so, okay, so that's who I represent and what we're about. And then you try to get out and try to, you know, look at what, how do they want to be represented and all that, that stuff. But, you know, it just makes sense that uh, this is Arizona State University. So why wouldn't you have the best and the brightest from right here in the state, right here in this valley? And that's easier said than done. Because there's some, you know, there's a lot of really, really quality pro programs and quality players, and obviously it's heavily recruited nationally. People from all over coming coming here, uh, which uh, is a challenge. And uh, and then you reap what you sow in recruiting. You know, you have to, uh, you have to. You know, one of the things that we think that we've been able to do is we have a clear identity on who we are. We don't. We have not made any exceptions on our team. Uh, we haven't compromised our values in any way. And um, we've really, when we talk about academics and academic success and, and serving the community and, and whom we represent and how we do it and with class and character, I, I think we've done that. And so we have a clear identity. And, and, you know, that's the thing about local. You know, I talk about when the gas tank away. Man, now that, I mean, that that is so big because that's going to impact your fan base. That's people get excited. I mean, you know, there's they they do they cheer differently for DJ Foster than they do for for, you know, uh, Cameron Smith from Texas. I don't know. It sounds like to me they do, um, and that doesn't mean they don't care about the guys from other states. It's just I think that's really really important, and that's what I want. I want to build this to to uh, to have a place where this state. Uh, uh, has pride in this team, and uh, there's a whole bunch of people that do, and that's one of the things I learned when I came here with the referendum and you know what Arizona State's all about and the territorial cup and the passion that's in this place. Uh, we just all we're we're in a process of trying to to build that, and uh, and the key to all of it is personnel. The key to all of it is is getting the best and the brightest uh, and the, the young men with the best character that fit us from right here in this valley, right here in this state. And uh, obviously we talk about, you know, even Southern California, but uh, most importantly here. And uh, we have worked from day one to do that. So we haven't just started, you know, but it's not, you know, you, you have to, uh, you reap what you sow in that. I can't hide from exactly who we are right here locally. They, they can see how we practice, they can see what we do, they can, you know, every time is anything, anything that happens with our program, they know about it. And so I think that's why, you know, obviously uh, uh, we're making progress. Did, uh, I know Ismail Murphy Richardson's been playing on third downs, but had, did he earn himself more playing time, Ismail Murphy Richardson? Oh man, I thought Ishmael, uh, I thought had his best game. Really proud of him. Really proud. I mean, he was really, he was he was after the quarterback most of the night. Uh, obviously, he backs up Antonio, who who got injured, so that 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 had him play a lot more snaps. Uh, but yeah, he's he's earned more more playing time, and a and a guy that's really starting to learn and come on, and and uh, got a long way to go. Got to keep getting better fundamentally and technique wise, but uh, he is. Uh, He's done a good job. I, was, I, was proud. I thought he, I thought he did, a, did a really good job of impacting the quarterback. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Pac-12 announced.